Hello, and welcome back to our Advanced Squad tutorial series. Presently, we are finishing part 3 of our route series by covering a rarely used rule, prisoners. Showing mercy to those cardboard soldiers can sometimes win you the game. With that in mind, let's go back to the Eastern Front in summer 1943, and once again, our broken 467 German unit has to route away from the Russians. But this time, instead of a tank forcing the route, we will have a first line 447 forcing the German unit to route. No quarter is not in effect, and the German player has to route. The 467 broken in the house has to route and is next to an enemy infantry unit. In order to enter O2, the 467 must face interdiction or use low crawl. Since no quarter is not in effect, the unit surrenders to the 447 next to it. Now when this occurs, the Russian player can decide to accept the prisoner or eliminate the unit. If he eliminates the unit, this would invoke no quarter by the Russians, and from this point on, the Germans will always use low crawl or risk interdiction to get away. This would not affect the Germans in the scenario, and they would still be able to accept prisoners. In this case, however, he will accept the squad as prisoners. First, let's see what the 467 gets turned into. The prisoners obviously have no weapons, so they get a firepower of 1, which can only be used in close combat. Since they can only attack in close combat, they have a range of 0. The prisoner squad has a morale of 6. No matter what unit was turned into the prisoner, or if they are any leaders with the unit that's down the prisoner. If through the course of the game the prisoner fails a morale check, it is reduced, not broken. By accepting the prisoners and not invoking no quarter, the Russian player can still mop up buildings, and other German units will attempt to surrender as well, given similar circumstances. This can save the Russian player time and, lead, and needless sniper checks shooting at broken units. The mechanics are simple at this point. The 467 is replaced by the right unarmed counter of the same unit size, and the 447 becomes the guard. At this point, the Russian can automatically deploy the 447 if he wishes into two 237s. Even though Russians cannot normally deploy, he can still do this. One air squad becomes a guard, and the other is free to continue the battle normally. You can also capture prisoners during close combat by making a capture attempt, which is actually easier against inexperienced troops, as per the close combat table. Before we go any farther, let's review a couple of things about prisoners and guards. A unit can guard up to five times its unit size. If you remember, the unit size is represented by the number of figures on the counter. So a full squad would have three figures on it, and it can guard up to 15 figures worth of unarmed prisoners. Prisoner half squads can be recombined and deployed freely by the guarding player. The capture unit may deploy automatically to accept the prisoners. As long as the guard unit is greater than or equal to the prisoner unit size it is guarding, it can do everything a unit without prisoners can do. If the unit total of prisoners exceeds the unit size of the guard, the guard cannot fight anywhere except in close combat. When guards attack in close combat against other units than their prisoners, their attack value is halved, but they defend normally. Once you capture prisoners, you are stuck with them. Only SS, Japanese, Partisans, Russians, and Berserk units can massacre prisoners. Prisoners can escape and possibly rearm themselves. Sometimes showing mercy can come back to bite you. But this is a topic for another video. This finishes part 3 of the route phase, Prisoner Creation. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, if you did please like us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. If you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions for future videos, leave a comment on the box below. If you want to come down and check out our store at JD Hobbies, we are located at 600 Broadway in Massapequa, New York. You can also check out our websites at www.jndhobbies.com as well as www.theadvancedsquadleaderexperience.com for all the latest news on Advanced Squad Leader. Like always, thanks for watching and take care.